and welcome along and welcome back to the old stream farm we are going to be doing a big sell-off of our lettuce today uh we have two oh sorry we have three full greenhouses of it um and we are at best price so uh it is very much going to be a case of uh filling the trailer up uh if i can reverse this up there we go yeah, there we are. Hook that up. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to fill this trailer up three stacks high at least. Um, I think most of these have uh, extras inside as well. Uh, in fact, yes, there's three and a half thousand litres per greenhouse inside as well. And these are three, uh, one, uh, no, 500 litre things. So there's another seven seven and a half boxes in each of these um we're only going to go three high we uh we can't really go much more than that i think this will struggle if we do um and it is a very snowy very cold january day here um we haven't we actually skipped two days so the last video on here was in november and uh i was looking at, at what was going on in in december and to be perfectly honest uh, there was nothing that was selling very well. Uh, so there was nothing to sell. There was nothing in the shop of interest to us. Uh, basically, overall, uh, there, there wasn't much of uh, much for us to do in December. So we've skipped all of December. Uh, moved straight on to January where we start getting a busy day again. The only thing we did do over December was give a bale of hay to the sheep. Um, and I'm going to give two more bales of hay to them now because uh, we want to keep the sheep fed and producing the wool uh, as best we can. Um, we've got, well, we've got a good collection of wool here that needs to go over to our spinnery as well. So those will both go in there, yeah. The, the sheep eat a lot more in the winter because there's no grass. Uh, in their fields so their, their feed consumption goes up right we want to now drop off our front forks here and head over and fill up our trailer uh we should do really well per thousand liters at the moment uh we're we're looking at getting two thousand pounds so uh yeah it's it's every crate we've got up here is worth about a thousand pounds which is huge i mean that's a massive amount of money that we're looking to make from the lettuce over the well over over today so that is just brilliant i'm really loving how our farm is taking shape now as well i put grass in all around the uh, area where we're going to be planting the new vines down the bottom i do need to go and have a look and do something similar up the top where we're going to be planting vines as well uh, because we kind of need to, to mark that area and work all of that out. Uh, but you'll see here, we're very quickly going to get regenerating uh, uh, pallets out of our... Oh, sorry, trying to concentrate on getting these pallets and uh, on talking about getting these pallets. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll get new pallets generating in here pretty much as soon as we remove these. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and so you can see we're going to have... Uh, we've probably got four stacks worth of pallets on here. Now, to do this, I think I'm going to have to load it all from this side. So, advantage of having the tally truck is that I can just do that. Extend the arm, pull it back in, and yeah, that will be very nice. So, um, yeah, the way I think I'm going to have to do this with the fact that we've got stuff regenerating all the time, or we've got stuff reappearing all the time is take them from each uh one in turn and then when we get four stacks high uh that is where we will finish um but we have a massive amount of lettuce and i don't think this is going to be the only load of lettuce we do in january in fact we'll probably try and load this up and then go and do a second run with what we've got left um because yeah we could do with getting all this money in we are only two months away from being able to uh, plant the new vines. And the more money we can get in for these two new areas of vines, the better. 
The snow has started to settle and it's not making my job any easier on here, to be honest. Uh, we are currently trying to uh, get these pallets picked up, but the, uh, the snow is hiding the tips. So it's very, very difficult for me to actually see what I'm doing most of the time. Uh, added to that is the fact that if you go at any kind of speed on this snow and you just slide about all over the place. So it doesn't make the job easier at all. Um, on top of all that, amazingly, we have now got to the end of the trailer here and I haven't made a dent. Look at this. We have full sets of pallets the whole way across. Uh, and it's just an incredible amount of lettuce that we have on here. So what I'm thinking is rather than doing the uh, two trips, one with, with only one level on and one with uh, three levels on, We'll just load up two levels and then uh, sell that and then come back and load up a second level and then sell that as well. And uh, that will even things out should mean that if we have any excess for the second one, we can easily put it on here and make things uh, a dancer easier on us. So let's bring that across. Yeah, just trying to angle that a little bit and get it on the top there like so perfect that will do and yeah look we still have no dent in this at all we should start to get it now i think we're going to end up with maybe a single crate at the end of here uh i will double that up with one from one of the other rows because obviously single crates are a little bit annoying uh, because we, we really want to be picking them up in doubles like this and getting them on. Speeding up the whole process. Yeah, I've got a single crate out there now. So we'll uh, we'll get that mixed in with uh, one of the ones from the other greenhouses. And we'll redo the ratchets on there. And once we get to the end of this row... We will then be uh, ready to go and do some selling, hopefully by midday. Because then, if we're getting uh, both of these done by midday, that will be absolutely brilliant for us and allow us to get all of these in today. And then we'll probably jump ahead to February next video uh, so that we can then start getting our grape juice sold off and see exactly how much money we end up with going into the planting season in march we've just got two more sets to put on the back lock these down and i'm actually taking them from the two greenhouses to my left because i've got the extra one sitting there i'm kind of hoping that by the time i go to load up the second set uh that will have evened out and we'll have a, another one pop out on all of these if we're lucky and uh yeah that way it'll all even up if not we'll pick it up we'll put it to the side and uh, and then we'll deal with it a bit later uh but all in all this is going uh, pretty well i'm very very pleased with uh how well these have all gone on this trailer. I mean, this at the, this point in this series, we're fairly old hats at getting all of this lettuce loaded up and uh, ready to be sold each year. Or, or actually, when it sort of maxes out and we get a, a large amount of it. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really quite enjoying using this little telly truck at this point and uh, and getting it to function. Uh, how I want to and uh, and load these things up. If we can put a little bit less pressure on the disco, we will. And so that's why I am... Uh, that's why I've decided, again, to go for the... Uh, just line this up carefully. Uh, only doing two stacks on here. Just uh, it's, It was getting a bit much for it when we were doing three stacks. But, all in all, I think that... It has been fairly successful. So how many have we got left? Uh, so we can fit 4, 8, 12, 16, uh, 
20, 24, 28, 32 on here. And we've got uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. I'll count the extra one in a minute. Uh, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26. And finally, uh, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, uh, 37 kicking around here at the moment. So, yeah, it's not just two more rows. Uh, it is, in fact, going to be uh, nearly three more rows on the top of here, um, which is uh, quite a lot of extra lettuce compared to where I thought I was going to be. And yeah, I need to uh, to work out this area up the top here where we're going to be planting our vines uh, come March. But that is probably going to be a job for next month, I think. I double checked on the way over here and the farmer's market is still the best price. But amazingly, it has topped £2,000 per thousand litres. So every single crate we have on here is now worth uh, a thousand pounds. Uh, that's huge. And, and, and we know we've got more coming as well. What is this going to top out at? Because that's still selling and we're passing 80,000. And last of them going undo all of the straps. 32,027 for that, which is just a huge amount of money. And the next load we have coming in on here is going to be even bigger. So I put the roadway in down the bottom here so that we're able to sort of nip down the side of this shed and round here. Because I thought that, you know, that is the way I go when I come back. Uh, normally uh, so that works pretty well we'll spin this around here slowly so that we don't go and uh, skid about and then i just want to straighten up this trailer let's see where are we yeah straighten this up and make it easier for us to load especially on the gentler slope and time for round two and we know already that we're going to have uh, even more on this. Now, have we got the second one on there yet? No. Nope. So, uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to load up from these two uh, ones. And uh, we'll go from there. We're on to the back of the trailer again. We've got uh, four more on this row four more on that one and a full uh, almost a full setup on our third one so plenty more to get on here in fact let's get those straps down before we try and get these on uh, because otherwise that's just going to end in tears looks like we've been a little bit better in our packing this time we've got a uh, plenty of space towards the end of the trailer Let's look at where we are, drop that down, and there we go. Sometimes they come off really well, sometimes they don't. I've not had to disconnect the forks so far today, so that's been good news. And I'm pretty impressed with our level of uh, lettuce on here. It really does show uh, the lettuce and the wool have been great additions on this map. I think we could have uh, we could have done it without them. Um, I think our progress would have been slightly slower. Uh, but they have been really great uh, and useful things for sort of moving us forward on this map uh, from time to time. There we go. Could I have put... Well, no, I couldn't have. I was going to say, could I have put more vines in if i hadn't spent money on the uh on these but not really uh we we spend quite a bit per row uh of vines i think we spend uh it was about eighteen thousand. i think it was on the cow field we were spending per row of vines uh that's one and a half uh sorry no that's two greenhouses and considering how much money these greenhouses have made us 
Uh, that is just so much better profit off these greenhouses compared to our uh, or compared to our actual uh, vines. Last set of pallets from this greenhouse and unfortunately it looks like things haven't evened up. How close are we to getting another pallet out of these? Let's have a look in here we are well we're only at 395 so it's going to be a little while before we get another pallet so what i want to do is uh move that single pallet out of the way uh it'll go on top at the end i think and then uh we will be able to get the rest of the pallets on here we have most of a third row i think um we have space for uh, two, uh, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, after this, and we've got, we know we've got at least ten in the uh, other one. In fact, I think we're up to like fourteen on the other one. Fourteen, fifteen on a on a side of our greenhouse. So yeah, uh, we're easily gonna fill this space and uh, then have some space on the top as well. So let's just move this one in and narrow those, get underneath and move that out of the way. We do want to sell this. We want to get this uh, in, in for the sales as well. Uh, but at the moment, it's easier for us to pick up two at a time. And as a result, we'll move it just out of the way for a little bit and then we'll load it on. Uh, when we get to the end if we haven't had another one appear at that point and just like that the snow is gone it's warmed up a little bit and it's melted the lot of it <laughs> oh, it's been a it's been everything today here on uh, on old stream farm we've had uh we've had snowing followed by the snow settling and then the and then the snow just sitting there and then eventually it just melting away like this once again making our job so much easier narrow those down a bit a bit more there we go and yeah we have just eight more pallets left on here so six of those are going to go on the back and yeah we'll have a few sitting on the top as well uh, which would be great. That is, is going to be more than 32. Uh, it'll be 36,000 pounds at least off this. We're going to be well over the 100,000 pound mark, which is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic, that is. Don't suppose we've got every, anything useful in the shop. Uh, not really. That's a nice little skid steer, uh, but... We, we are more than covered with the teletruck and yeah nothing else really if we were going to go into more arable farming next year then uh, maybe that trailer would be more useful but yeah we're we're fine as we are i think let's do that under there and yeah we're gonna be putting uh four more on the top so that will take us up to 38 39 we're gonna be just shy of 40,000 for this uh and that's because yeah we've not quite got our final pallets out of these although they may yet turn up we may find these single pallets come out of the three of these and throw us over the 45,000 uh 40,000 pound mark uh if they do uh that would be great but yeah, we're, we're looking at over 70,000 or nearly 70,000 over 70,000 if they turn up nearly 70,000 if they don't which is just a huge amount of money there we go the last pallet out or the last two pallets out from the side we've still got that single pallet there i'm loading them up across the middle here um, because we don't need to go too deep for these pallets. So, into the middle. Cross, touch the far side. Down. And then, back oh, is this going to be the first one which won't come off? Yep, 
This is going to be the first one that won't come off. So detach, reattach, and out. So that's in, in all the loading we've done today. That's the first one I've had to actually detach. That, wow, that really isn't touching anything. Uh, that's the first one at a time I've had to completely detach the front forks and reattach them in order to get them to load on. How close are we to a full thing? Uh, 470. I am tempted to wait for five minutes and get these extra pallets out of here so that we are just going to maximize exactly how much we sell and how much we make today. I'm expecting the final pallet to drop at any moment here. The other two have already dropped. And there we go. The final pallet. So three more pallets. These are now completely empty all three of these uh greenhouses and we uh we're gonna get the absolute maximum amount of money we can make today off of all of this lettuce which i'm very happy about i mean this is gonna make a big difference ah oh, really let's connect reconnect there we go Wow, I don't know why that is suddenly doing that. Uh, but this last two, I'm going to try and pick these up together. So what I'll do is grab this on one fork. And this is not the most realistic of things, I do realise. And then we should be able to grab the other on the other fork and get it all loaded up. Um, if I did it the more realistic way, we would be here forever doing all of these. And it would just make for a much less interesting video. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm going with... I've got a special kind of fork or special set of forks that allow me to, to do it this way. And over the top. Get that. There we go. That is such a... Such a weighty uh, load of... Uh, that is on here hopefully that's all gonna hold and uh, yeah that's really good how much water's left in here of the wow really of the the extra six thousand liters we put in uh well in november so we have skipped a couple of days uh we are down to a point where we need to put some more water into these now so yeah and we could probably do with getting another bag uh, or, well, another two bags of fertilizer and another bag of seed to uh, just sort those out. Let's head around this way. And hopefully I'll manage to do this without sending my car onto its roof. Because that would be bad. Successfully made it down to the shop. And I want to just get these front ones unloading a little bit. Oh, hang on having trouble getting onto here in the first place there we go so we'll get the front lot unloading first and with them getting a little bit ahead we can start moving backwards and that way hopefully we can get everything to come through in one price lot and be able to work out everything at once there we go unloading towards the back and now the back stuff is unloading as well. Look at that money go up. That is absolutely wonderful. How much are we going to be left with? 120,000. We've got a little bit towards there. And oh, 40,025 plus another 36. So 40,200 and 41 pounds that is brilliant that is absolutely wonderful i'm very very pleased with that that has got all of our lettuce sold today uh let's pop down back down to the farm because i think we're still gonna have some uh wool to get rid of and a couple of other bits but certainly we are really nicely set up going into the new year and we haven't even sold the grape juice yet but there's currently six full pallets of wool sitting here in the sheep pen. 
we should be able to get all of these loaded up today and uh, and get them delivered down to our spinnery which will be good news uh that will uh, that will put more into there uh if the spinnery tops out at any time what we're gonna do is then just go and directly sell uh that wool um there's no point in holding on to wool if uh if the spinnery is unable to process it simply because the spinnery will then just be constantly full otherwise and to be honest we might as well make the money from the uh the wool ourselves so uh, that's what i'm looking at at the moment uh, i'm still considering buying the tailor shop uh, now the trouble is because of uh well because i'm away for the next few days uh, i am having to uh record these all ahead of time uh, so uh please do keep your comments coming i'm not gonna do anything like sell the uh, grass equipment until uh, i get to see your comments on uh as i asked last video as to whether we should do that so uh yeah let us uh, let us know in the comments about that whether you think i should do that and uh, also i am intrigued you guys have been very good at uh, giving your comments on how you think i should be handling the tailor shop and the fabric uh, i do think that we want to be making the maximum money we can from the fabric so i am holding off on selling that whether we end up selling that ultimately to the tailor shop or to the farmer's market i don't know um but plan is it's certainly immediately not to be getting the tailor shop and uh, and maybe seeing if we can get that uh for selling stuff off uh in about a year's time so yeah sell off stuff in april uh into the tailor's shop this year see if we can make a load of money uh, off it then and uh, then let it process through over the next year and try and uh, make some extra money off it going into year four right there we go get that let's see if we can get the other one on top or the other one on the far side just load these up nice and easily Right, that is uh, that is not straight. So straighten those up. Put those down. And both of those on. There we go. Yeah, that is uh, that is working out nicely. Another six uh, pallets of wool for us to deliver to our spinnery and keep that topped up as i said i think this will probably top it off it's quite a bit of wool this oh no that one there and that one there right turn off the jcb on with this i'll get the sides folded up and we'll head down to the spinnery and get this all unloaded down and round and the sun is setting now so uh we want to get this all unloaded pull it in here and it is all going in there we go so let's have a look where does this leave us uh, wow we still got lots and lots of space in here so lots that can still be going on uh it's we are going to have to pop up here actually with our uh uh our teletruck and move some stuff because we've got 3519 liters sitting in there and if we don't move these out of the way uh we're gonna top out and have a problem so uh yeah that's gonna be a job for next time as i said i think we're probably gonna jump forward to february not an awful lot for us to do in january other than moving a few bits and pieces of, around so we'll see where we are for now though all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please leave a like drop us a comment and give it a share special thanks to all my patrons and channel members your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow for more from virtual farmer check out the links below follow on twitch to watch live and for more videos subscribe and ring that bell i will see you next time goodbye